So in keyword to include, what I usually do is I know my, my, my content is about productivity tips. I will probably will pick on here because this preset listing, actually the list of the keyword in which we scroll from your competitor keywords. And those are the keywords in which your competitor are really targeting. And we want to make sure that you will also be targeting the same keyword so that when you get onto the Google and um, sorry, when, when Google bot go into scan your website, they realize that, okay, they have the same keyword as all the guys who are already ranking on top. So it's a lot easier for you to kind of show Google what you are trying to do, right? Um, so the first thing is I'm going to look through this list of preset keyword and then maybe I will pick out keyword in which I feel will support the content which I built earlier. Emoji fan, not really. I can delete this. Chief goal, answering emails, okay. Productivity tips, that's good. Uh, Max card goal, nope. Uh, Work-life boundary, that's good. Artificial intelligence automation software, not really. Chewing gum buffet, no. Credit card information, this is NLP. People. Nope. Why is he here? You know what? I, he could be here. He could be someone I will quote. Spend time, that's good. Other uh, work life balance, okay. Someone at and search engine. That's a good sign. This one is not working. Nope. Family, friend, maybe. No. Nope. So what we what we'll do in the next few iteration, which I will share with you now, is that we will actually use our AIs to scan through the content you build in the outline to you part, like for example this. And we will automatically scan through this list of all three part of keyword and look for keyword that have similar semantic meaning and suggest you directly to, into this, this board to show you that, okay, these are the keywords that are not only very competitive, but also support the content in which you try to uh, to write in the first step, right? Daniel so, when joined. so that's how we, that's the iteration in which we are trying to build in the next few things. So now that I look into here, what I'll do is I also look through this list again and look for keyword in which I find really good that could help uh, my content to rank. So I really like this one, I can add to it. Um, and we also show you the search volume of each of this keyword. Boost productivity. Oh, this is great. I just click on. Click on here. Time management. All right. You can also do the same with opportunity keywords. Opportunity keywords are the keyword in which we find your competitor may be missing, but they are available in keyword uh, uh, Google Keyword Database or Google, Q, Google Keyword Database and Google Keyword Suggest. So when you have the keyword that already in Google Keyword Database, it's also a very good chance for you to include this keyword in the way you are trying to rank. And thirdly, it will be Google NLP entities. So if you don't know what it is, refer to one of our videos in which you can just click on here. You'll see the videos here. It's only 18 minutes, but I explained to you in depth why it's so important in modern and SEO to, to, to have this NLP available to show Google the type of entities you, you, you put in. Entities are a way of Google to understand the context uh, and meaning of your content. And the faster they understand it, the faster they will get to index and also to determine whether or not you are answering the correct question your user is trying to ask. And therefore, that's why Google and NLP Entity is available here. Um, and the last part, which is extremely and very important, is to import the keyword cluster in which you already have uh, into this list. Where's my list? Wait, where's my list? Are we not in the same? Oh, here it is. Sorry, this wasn't updated. <laughs> so again, here, import keyword from list. That's productivity tips. All right, click import. And the keyword, it's already in here. You really need to remember this. You need to make sure that the keyword in which you have from your cluster, 
are valuable and right away fit in here the keyword to include and maybe when you see it here you maybe you may want to kind of um, change the amount of, of time it oops change the amount of time that it's available so I want to increase to three maybe uh, I also increase this to three two and make sure that when you start writing this the keyword which you try to target you need to highlight them usually the way I like it I would keep it in bold but uh, don't try to overdo it too much that's why I only keep them at two and three uh, and sometimes just one for example this keyword I probably just do one I'll delete this one because it's a preparation um, this one is not very good yeah so when you when when you do this make sure you don't overdo that because I've seen a lot of content a lot of people are, are, are putting way too many of these keywords and they just have more keyword everywhere and bold keyword everywhere is a sign in which Google will see as you are trying too hard to rank and you trying too hard to please Google instead of you are trying to please the end users it's, it's a very delicate balance when you try to craft a certain content first of all you need to show Google that you're trying to please them by forming the best content structure and including the best kind of keyword and also show them in clear way that you are targeting them but not in an outrageously sort of obvious way right it's, it's like a very delicate key, uh, part because if you're trying too hard they will, you will also appear to be trying too hard and when you appear trying too hard Google will right away red flag you saying that you're not trying to write the best content for your 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 um, and you're just trying to please me so why should I rank you because my goal is actually to to match you with the best and with with it with the, with the end users so that's why I usually recommend you to keep everything at moderation but cover everything so do everything in terms of basic right and cover most of the stuff and you want to make sure you do this consistent basis not just one article Right? You want to do it with every single article you will churn out in your, in your content strategy. And the more consistency you do, the easier it is for Google to understand who you are and understand that you have these consistencies, so therefore you have trustworthiness and therefore you have the authority. Every single article when you form is the same format. It's very well structured. It's very good in covering all the keywords needed. And also you craft content that is good and high value to your end users. You, you may not be able to rank right away with a few, you know, 15 or, tw or 20 articles. But when it reaches to 50, Google will instantly notice you. They will go in there, look through all the topic that you cover, look through all the content that you write, and they will, your, their bot will continue to scan and refresh, right? And, and as they see you grow, and as they see you consistently churn out content, they realize that you are a reliable source of content. And only then you'll be able to slowly see more of your content being to rank. That's why SEO takes time. It takes time for Google to get to know you. Just like when you're trying to get to, I mean, your life partner. You know, well, if you are guys, you get trying to get a girl. If you're a girl, trying to get a girl, uh, a guy. Things need time to build up, right? And your relationship with Google is the same thing. Um, it's not an ad. It's not trying to run an ad and then you pay Google so that they can appear on top. This is a slow build uh, process in which it requires you to, set, to sort of slowly build up the quality and consistency and persistency also of your content and your strategy. Um, and it always pay off at the end. I've not seen anyone who consistently churn out quality content uh, and consistently wanting to build better website, build better content structure and fail. I really don't. I only see people who quickly give up because they find that this is too much work. <laughs> If you find it's too much work, I don't think it's, 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 it's very fitting for you to, to do SEO because it's, it's going to take you a lot of, 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 of work and, 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 and takes a lot of time and it takes a long time for you to see results. So, okay, so this is going to be the step three. And once you're done with step three, go into um, content writing. This is step three.